In China's classrooms, teachers aren't the only ones watching. Mounted above blackboards and whiteboards, small AI-powered cameras scan every student's face, reading tiny expressions, a raised eyebrow, a shifting gaze, a distracted glance. These systems analyze micro-expressions, eye contact, head tilt, posture yawning or fidgeting. Every student is scored for attention in real time. Dashboards show teachers a live heat map of focus levels across the classroom. A child glancing at the window for too long might drop their engagement score. A student sitting upright and looking forward sees their score rise. In pilot programs across multiple provinces, education officials report improved class participation and fewer discipline problems. But something deeper is happening. Students know they're being watched, not just by teachers, but by silent algorithms. They begin to change. Some sit unnaturally still, back stiff, eyes fixed forward. Others avoid facial expressions entirely, fearing that a moment of boredom could drop their score. Some students start perfecting performance focus, looking directly ahead, eyes wide open, but with their minds a million miles away. This new form of behavior creates a subtle performance loop. Students act attentive, so AI sees them as engaged. AI reports higher attention, reinforcing the behavior, but real learning doesn't always look focused. Great ideas come from moments of daydreaming, curiosity, even distraction. Experts warn these systems risk teaching kids to suppress natural thinking patterns and instead train them to perform the appearance of attention. Meanwhile, the emotional data is archived. Every frown, every slouch, every yawn, thousands of hours of micro-expressions are stored and analyzed, building profiles of students' attention histories. Parents receive monthly reports. Administrators compare classrooms. Students become data points in a digital race for perfect engagement. And what happens when a child's profile is labeled chronically distracted? Will that label follow them from one school to the next? Will it influence future teachers? Will it shape expectations before they even walk into the room? In some schools, teachers are graded on class-wide attention scores. So the algorithm doesn't just watch students, it pressures teachers too, forcing them to keep scores high even if it means punishing harmless daydreams. Yet the promise of personalized education is real. AI can reveal who struggles to concentrate, who might need extra support, or who excels quietly. But critics question whether an environment of constant evaluation, every blink, every gaze, helps children learn or just teaches them to hide. Because when AI reads every face, daydreaming, once a natural part of childhood, becomes a liability. The classroom stops being a place for mistakes and discovery. It becomes a stage where every move is recorded, every moment analyzed, every feeling reduced to a number. The eyes of the algorithm never blink, and even when the cameras turn off, the behaviors they teach stay behind. This is virtue damas.